The giant sync drive uh, pro motor was doing uh, uh, about 24 kil uh, kilometers per hour uh, whereas the E7000 was doing about 22 uh, so it's it's noticeably weaker in the, the max assistance level but uh, it really is quite okay Uh, the motor needs a bit of motion on the pedals before it kicks in. It's very little actually. The motor is very quick to disengage when I release the pedal. This motor is very good when uh, trying to start in the middle of a steep technical hill. The motor is very easy to control when constantly activating and deactivating. Doing this tight turn is very easy. For trail riding on difficult technical trails, I do believe I prefer the E7000 to the E8000 actually. The balance of power and control is very good on the E7000 and uh, it's slightly less noisy. In trail mode the E7000 doesn't really have an advantage over the E8000. With low power input on the pedals, they feel exactly the same. But the E8000 will give you a bit more power when you push really hard. So the motor noise on the E7000 isn't that bad actually. I think it's slightly better than the E8000. You need to go above 80 RPM to get some sort of intrusive noise.